this year for its annual special exhibition titled Shaping Visions, SDPI brings together a selection of works by five extraordinary artists in Singapore. Chua Ike, Go Beng Kwan, Han Zai Por, Amanda Hing, and Ong Kim Seng. These Singaporean artists were past residency artists at STPI and have each received the Cultural Medallion, our nation's highest award for artistic excellence. Through the works in this exhibition, we will be able to examine and reflect on the ways that these artists have uniquely perceived and portrayed their surrounding environments. At the center gallery, we're drawn to these organically shaped sculptures by Han Sai Por, an artist born in 1943 in Singapore. The artist is very interested in nature, and her sculptures are usually made of stone. During her residency at STPI in 2013, she created these two woodblock prints, Rooted Four and Nestles Four. Miss Hun's images of the forest seem to be one that is resilient and full of life, appearing to fight back against the destructive actions of humans on nature. The trees seem to stretch beyond the frames, looking at their shapes and forms, as well as the rich colors used. How do these works make you feel? What are some bad habits or actions by humans that cause great harm to the natural environment? Here, on the other side of the center gallery, are scenes of nature and city painted by the late artist Chua E. K. He was born in China in 1947 and passed on in Singapore in 2008. He was known to practice the Xie Yi style, which is a style marked by freehand brushwork and exaggerated forms. Mr. Chua was a two-time residency artist at SDPI. In his first residency in 2002, many of the prints and paintings he developed depicted a particular flower, the lotus flower, which has long been revered as a symbol of purity in Chinese culture. In these paintings, we see the lotus plant expressed in different states of growth and decay. What seasons do you think these flowers are portrayed in? Have you tried drawing or painting a flower in its different stages of growth. Here in this part of the exhibition are watercolor paintings by the artist Ong Kim Seng, born in 1945 in Singapore. His watercolor paintings have long been regarded as emotional and psychological portraits of the land. He is an artist who enjoys painting familiar scenes of Singapore, as well as traveling and painting natural landscapes in places such as Nepal and Indonesia. On this particular wall, we see a treatment of watercolor that is rather striking and bright. This is Mr. Ong's California Style series, which consists of street scenes in Singapore painted with a bright palette, juxtaposing warm and cool tones in an exciting manner. The style emerged from West Coast American watercolorists in the mid-1920s. How different are the colors in these street scenes from what you usually see in Singapore? How do these colors make you feel? In this part of the gallery, we see works by Go Beng Kwan, who was born in 1937 in Medan, Indonesia. His contributions to the development of collage art in Singapore have been extremely significant. He often uses found material taken from his own daily environment and cultural heritage to create his collages. This is one of Mr. Goh's mixed media works, plants growing on the wall. With bold strokes and colors, it shows nature's voracious envelopment of a wall. Why do you think the artist has chosen to portray nature this way? These are paper pulp collages that the artist created during his 2006 residency at STPI. They were created using pieces of colored paper pulp and water, and they seem to suggest imaginative landscapes. 
This particular work is titled The Summer is Over. What season comes after summer, and how does this work point to that? When we think about our surrounding environments, we are also drawn to think about our relationships with others in our community. This is something that the artist Amanda Hing explores. She was born in Singapore in 1951, and her practice explores memory, identity, human relationships, and social issues in Singapore. This is an important photographic series of works by Ms. Hing, titled Another Woman. It is actually a collaboration with her mother. Raised in a traditional household and strained by language difference, Ms. Hing and her mother experienced some challenges in their relationship early on. When she was older, she desired to reconnect with her mother, and so she created this series of photographs. Staging intimate portraits with her mother, the process drew them both close to each other, and they were able to deepen their bond through it. How do these images make you feel? What are some important relationships in your life that you treasure? In this exhibition, we can really encounter each artist's distinct expressions of a changing society and landscape. We hope you have enjoyed these works, which invite moments of reflection in our lives. These artists prompt us to consider how we are constantly reshaping the places and societies that we are a part of and with environments both natural and built.